Good evening, folks. Hope everyone's good. Hope sound quality is good. Welcome to another hour of kit bashing. This time with a quite different setup. Now, using the front camera of the tablet should make things much better to see. We'll try to work over here. Focusing should be okay. Little bits over here. Get my sticky tack right here so the knife won't roll away. Okay. <clears throat> Great. Thank you for watching. 15 people already. Really cool. So what will we do tonight? On stage, the Theoroptor Cavalry. What you see now is a so-called stage one kit bash, as I call it. The concept is loosely there. Parts are tacked together. Um, you, I miss the stoner sound too, but uh, Instagram will shut me down if the stoner is too loud. License. So, from this point we'll go a step further. He was in the shelf for half a year, I would say. So only now have had new ideas considering them. The plan is to go with the three of them for some golden demon next year. But for that I will have to get rid of a few parts. Let's have a quick, quick overview of the parts I used so far. The cold one is from Warhammer Fantasy Dark Elves. Dark Elf Knights to be specific. This head is from the Griff Hounds. Also Warhammer Fantasy. Legs, arms and the part of the lance is from the Demigriff Cavalry Empire Warhammer Fantasy and the heads are from the Skitari Vanguard. Went for the vertical helmet crest because in my opinion they give the best appearance for cavalry imitating kind of helmet plume. Shield is too from the Dark Elf Knights. And the body... Let's take this off. Body on this one still is from Dreamforge Games Eisenkern Troopers. But for Golden Demon, we have to remove this because there aren't any third-party bits allowed. So, yes, yeah, Space Chicken Riders, or Chocobo Riders, heard that. So. So, the plan is to do those three one sergeant, 
two line troopers, line cavalry, and um, perhaps some of you have guessed they are belonging to the Black Phalanx project. I started last year in December for the Iron Sleet Invitational. If you don't follow them, keep a look out and do follow them. They make great stuff. So where do we go from here? First issue is replacing the body and the obvious choice fell to the Tempestus Skyans. This one, green one, is from the new Kill Team box set. So we have kind of medieval looking armor, but what we do want to get rid of is the antenna, the sensor, and we have to get rid of the thigh plates because they will be in the way and the legs of the Demigriff Knights already have them. Second main tool, as said in the last session, apart from my hobby knife, is a strip of leather to better fix the parts when cutting. They go right into the stash. Try to keep the thigh pads intact because we want to use them later on. Okay. So because the stage one kit bash is a very rough stage, I forgot to put the to get the main bodies of the knights out of the sprue so we will have to see which one fits which little eagle on the I won't focus <clears throat> little eagle on the knee would suggest it belongs to the eagle on the chest, yes, that's the right part for him. So before we glue the legs to the body, next time I will definitely do the clean up before going live. But for now, you'll have to be content with watching the whole of the process. So, of the body and the legs. Like of mice and men. 
we want to cut the body of the knight here at the hip. How to get it focused? Too much stuff in the background, I think. <clears throat> okay. I'm using using my razor saw for that. I'm making small cuts around the part. And doing the rest with the hobby knife. Cut piece to the front and on with some glue. What we get is this. I did repair. <laughs> okay. When going from stage one to stage two, there could happen major changes to the setup and to the idea. Main change uh, with this one is the body though and for now there's only some slight additions to the theme. The Eisenkern Trooper body had this cool looking backpack with kind of water reservoir or something. So we'll have to replace that because, yeah, cavalry needs backpacks. Lots of stuff to carry around on the battlefield behind enemy lines. So, one choice for that, easy, very easy choice, would be the Skyen backpacks. Come on, focus. better. I will fix that in the future. Okay. But, as said, this would be the easy way. Another part I do consider, or had considered, is the Skitari backpack. Backpacks for Acolyte Demolition Charges. Yeah, we'll have a look at these. Good idea.
these ones. Okay, I can't can't find them on my sprue wall now, but I know which parts you are thinking of. They would look really cool, but I'm going for a kind of uniform way. Perhaps I will use that backpack you mentioned um, to personalize one of them because they will get lots of kit um, on the backs of their mounts. So what I definitely gonna use is the upper part of the Skitari backpack. Which I already have prepared. Got rid of the sensor antennae and made the cut right underneath this Voxcaster generator thing. Carefully cut the cables because we will need them later. Should do that now so that we have some spares. Don't know yet for what I will use these antennas, but who knows? Hello Crime Index, welcome to this fabulous session of kit bashing Black Phalanx Theoraptor Cavalry. Okay, we have three guys, but only two backpacks backpack tops so far. We'll do the third one later considering the idea with the Acolyte backpack for specialists like uh, Coms Guy or something like that. Uh, look, there's the one with the ammunition. That's the one we want. That one, right? Keep that in mind for later. Stage 2 is still part of the composition process, so there are only a few parts we will glue together, like the legs for example, and later perhaps parts of the lances. We could fix the shields to the arms now, but perhaps 
There will be some other cooler shields somewhere. Somewhere on the wall. Okay. Now we'll get him seated. We will need to trim the join where the legs go into the torso. No, we won't. We'll use a bit of green stuff later. Very much looks like riding that beast steering it with his legs. Storm shields from the Bullgrin box. Yeah, even the small ones are really, really big. And they are too angular. If you look at um, pictures or movies of uh, medieval knights, that do uh, tiasting, tiasting thing where they ride on each other with lances. You'll see that the part of the knight that is pointed towards his opponent is more heavily armed and shaped in a very uh, ergonomic way. So what I personally like about the Dark Elf shields, they are not only very small compared to the rest, because a rider's armor and gear has to be as light as possible, but they fill in, they fit perfectly, they have this rounded underside to connect with the mount to help the rider put the shield into, into locked position and he also has this small nook on top of here where he can put his lance to. So they are pretty much perfect. But we'll have the small one Bullgreen Shields in mind for some later kit bashes considering the Black Phalanx. Good idea again. What could be worth a try? But would put them onto a much more sci-fi level would be to use the energy shields from the Vanzar but again they are quite big they have a lighter ex appearance of course they are energy shields but they cover too much I cover too much of the rider. What would be um, the thing when you think of the practicality, but as I want to showcase them, take part in competition, you need to see as much of the model as possible. Yeah, as Arbiters, they they look very, very good. Yes, they are the right proportions. As tower shields for my Black Phalanx, I used cut uh, Stormcast Eternals shields. They have pretty much the same dimensions. Okay, 
we have the shield so far, the arms. When I do the the tacking of the things, I try to measure how much green stuff I'll need later on to get the same pose. So when we get to fixing everything together later, not today, but when all is set, I always pick the blue tag away and replace it with an equal amount of green stuff if putty is needed. So, Caradron Overlord backpacks, yeah, full of ideas. I had them in my hands too, but they are too low tech looking for these dudes. As most of them is very low tech, like the mount and the medieval armor, I wanted some part of a bit more high tech stuff on them to get the right mix for grimdark feeling. <laughs> okay. So, the main aspect of these dudes that is still missing. Where can we place him? The lances, lance, lance, lance. At first, first sketches that you can see on my Instagram feed included the original parts of the knights with Taser goats from the Skitari Rust Stalkers attached to them somehow. Again, that was quite the easiest idea and only good to suggest a feeling for what I am aiming at. They are intended to count as. Astra Militarum or Imperial Guard Cavalry, so they need lances with explosive tips or something uh, like. While the taser lance of the Skitari are uh, not Dune Crawler, not Rust Stalker, Sidonian Knights is looks really cool. It's quite too big and well, I wanted something with a bit more of a punch. So I sat down this afternoon to create this beauty. Cordor staffs. They could have some parts on them that would come in handy. You sure did your homework, didn't you? don't have what I'm looking for.
Sounds cool, yeah. Patriarch guard for um, your gene stealer cult, yes. Uh, they are too, too, bit too low tech for this build. So what I used so far, but it's just um, say stage two or even stage one setup for the lands is. Energy sword from the Skitari Rust Stalkers with the hand cut off. The Taser Goat of the same kit with the tip cut to later fit the blade. Only roughly for now. Get it tacked, but have already replacement for this part over here, and I cut it in a way that I could keep this small pipe. Is there a possibility to watch live on the browser? I don't think so. I'm using the browser browser version of it and it's very limited. I will try though to get this video up to YouTube soon-ish. So bottom of the lens is again a skitari part from the not the rangers but the vanguard stock of this rifle use the ones with the mechanical arms Cut it right behind the drum mag, which actually is a generator, at least Jess Goodwin told me so. It's a bit, a bit nifty to get the saw in position when reaching around the tablet. I'm using Patafix from Patex or you can use uh, poster strips from Uhu or Blue Tech is more uh, general the general term. It's uh, sticky but non adhesive putty so this one goes into the bin we'll use it later not into the bin but into the stash I'll cut the magazine but try to keep this part of it We'll need that to connect the cable of oh, the taser goat. Where is the taser goat? Here's the taser goat. What else do we need? We need the arm that is holding this one's lens. and see where we will fit those
So, passion in person, it's an issue with your typing, not with uh, the video quality, yeah? <laughs> As I want to use most of the armor of the original knight parts, I will cut him over there in two stages. Ah, knife is keeping on rolling. As this this lower part of the lance is like one with the rest, we will just cut it away. It's a thing I try to avoid because I want to use as much parts as possible. But so now we keep the line of the elbow armor we want to keep that part Made that small pilot cut with the exacto to better place the razor saw. Bit of putty without hairs. Usually can tap the screen to focus, but that's not an option when going live. Could use my tweezers. All worked well when ah, there we have it. There we go. That's great. So we have just plugged in a keyboard with an adapter cable, yeah?
when preparing the taser goat we'll have to make sure doing the wee thing again um, that we keep the cable so we have to cut the end of the cable first real slowly without any pressure I keep my hands sitting on the table so that when I cut through I won't cut into my fingers. This thing is really really sharp. So now we have no strain on this part when we cut over there. When I began kit bashing, I did a lot of work with my clippers, but they tend to damage at least one side of the stuff you clip. Ah, see, use the app instead of the browser browser thing. Hello to everyone who's new, it's kind of hard to keep track of who's watching and who's leaving because I have the screen of my tablet with which I'm streaming directly in front of my chest. What we do today is Kit Bash Stage 2 of... Black Phalanx Theoraptor Cavalry. Hello, Damon. Nice you made it. Hope you're well. So, what do you paint, Passion in Person? Okay, as I said before, I already have another idea for the part where the blade joins the lance staff, so we'll do that with the second one. For that I prepared part of the Skitari Electro Priest staffs. We want to use that particular part over here with this little, uh, say the word, guard. Already have it here. Here was somewhere here was the point where it's focusing not. It's getting in the way. I think we'll have to lose this one too. Put it like this, so when the lance hits its target and misses, it will go over the target instead of sticking to it. 
but sticking to the target would be a cool thing too. We'll try that. We'll try each position later. See what it looks like. I think my hobby knife could use a new blade in the near future. Goliath Rock Grinders, great model. The cold ones are attached to the cubes via double sided tape you use normally for uh, laying out carpets. So they are pretty much secure with that. He will fall off eventually when put to the side as this. Saw blades down. So these are the two variants of the spear tips. Nothing, nothing against doing various tips on that lens. It adds to the diversity and to makes the the build more believable as every rider will kind of customize his gear. Grandma Gestapo, which legs exactly? I suppose the legs of the riders because the legs on the cold ones are in one piece. The legs of the riders are from the Empire Demigriff Cavalry, as are the arms. With the smooth one you mean this here, yes? Yeah looks more streamlined yeah I agree that the clean one looks better, but I'm liking the other one too. Where do we go from here? So, anyone listening to any music? I do not, because last time I got shut down several times due to some license infringements. Oh, come on. This tacky stuff is not quite reusable endlessly. 
will get less sticky with time. Where have I put the other arm? There. Okay, so that's the horse or the mount set up, the rider set up, and the lances and part of the backpack. Let's do quick on the underside of the backpack. Kodos box of minis. I'm building today stage two of the Black Phalanx Theoraptor Cavalry. They are stage one at the moment, meaning every part's roughly stuck together. Now they will get their first refining. Armor on the mounts, of course. I simulated that with this shield on front of this one as I have cut the arms of the cold ones they have a bit of armor at the front but they'll need some green stuff treatment also with the sergeant you can see that I added this kind of wing mount to saddle I got to prefer these kind of blades to the straight ones because you can put your thumb underneath the non-sharp side and have really good control about what you're doing. Wing is from the Dark Angels upgrade helmet, yes. But not sure about the detail. Initial idea is that the sergeant will get two and the other ones one. But that depends on how much stuff we pack onto their mounts. doing a small pilot cut have to be very focused when using the saw because as said it's very sharp and I have already broken the second or third blade because I got too hard, pressed too hard on it. Okay. So one easy trick to make a known part something unique is to turn it around 180. The wings from the Dark Angels bikes, yes, I had them on an older kit bash. Actually, the mounts and parts of, not parts of the riders, but the mounts are uh, already the second incarnation. I did some Cadians 
back a few years but never finished them they used the kneeling legs from the um, from the heavy weapon teams cut into don't know how many pieces and they had the uh, wings from the dark angel bikes but the the from the, from the old kit i think they definitely uh, would look good on them yes will have to search my bitbox for them because that's one part that's still not defined not sure how they will look with the wings or without we'll see so cut him some hate so everyone can see him get him his new shiny backpack nope second try yep maybe we have to Yeah, I understood. I understood that. Now we collide with the back of his saddle. So either we cut the saddle, which wouldn't be my first option because the high saddle has its merits. I think we have to look for another part and just get this this one somewhere over here. A bit more tech. Still is kind of weird to give answers to written comments without actually talking to people. Well, I do via this video, yes, but you know what I mean. Okay. So we got this detail now on the saddle which is roughly the place we first intended to and now have to look 